and maybe one maybe on the christian side is we need to combat anti-intellectualism in the church there's a lot of christians that are like i just need faith or i just need some emotional strong music with strobe lights oh all the good fog and the big mega come churches on you, this, you, it's a good smoke machine can go a long way <laughs> oh come on gotta get the feels so i think we need to combat because i've been to churches and i've been like do you have apologetics here do you do anything like that? we don't really do that here we just want to focus on winning souls i'm like you're not winning souls if you're not including that let's be honest here so i think we need to combat how the, whoa, whoa. how does zip know that what if it's true you can win more souls for Christ using emotion rather than intellect? I know they sometimes are intertwined, but IP, how do you know that? What if it were true that by making people feel guilty, making them feel desperate and low for, for the sin that they have, what if the fear of hell actually saved more souls than talking about any philosophical argument would you switch michael would you switch strategies or are you just so embarrassed that you wouldn't and i mean like that's just emotional garbage i mean that's emotional tactics no no i, I can't bring myself to do it but what if it's effective isn't this what it's all about like look at the abortion debate the most effective tool I think D6 would have with the abortion debate is to show pictures of, let's say, a 12 week, 20 week, 30 week fetus, baby. Show pictures of a rod going into the uterus and hacking that baby up. That is more effective than even words. You don't have to say anything after that. Am I wrong? I'm not wrong. No, but I, I would totally agree because I think I would approach your question, uh, Eli, from just a, a, a kind of a different angle, which is what Michael did here. Anti-intellectualism and biblical illiteracy are huge. Yeah. What, what is it this with this? Ant Why are you Christians worried about anti-intellectualism within the church? Why do you guys even care about that? Can I remind these apologists of something? The gospel is foolishness to those who are perishing. Hello? God has made the wise things of the world foolish, and the foolish things wise. He's flipped the script, gentlemen. Do I need to remind you of your own scriptures? Why do you have this weakness within you that you need to appear intelligent in the world's eyes most people in the world view christians like you as crazy and not so accept it affirm it own it if you believe a guy walked on water died and rose from the dead if you believe that jesus is, is going to return on a white horse to collect his children at the end of time People view you as nuts. You should look them in the eye and say, I get it. You view me as nuts and crazy, and that's to be expected, because what I believe is nuts and crazy. Stop desiring to, to be the, these intelligent, uh, viewed as intelligent people. Even people who believe in God believe, think you're nuts. Trinity, really? Says the Muslim. Saved for by grace, really? Says the Jew. Exclusive? Jesus, the only way? Says the Hindu. And, you know, you know what the atheists think. You guys have to own this. The world views you as nuts and crazy. And the more you, talk, you keep talking about the things you believe, the more crazy you sound. Can I get an amen?